this morning. All right, time is 5.31 now, and we're following some breaking news this morning. A fire investigation underway after a Fort Pierce mosque caught on fire overnight. A lot of questions with this one right now. Let's go right to Fox 4 anchor Kelly Dame in the newsroom with the connection this mosque has to the Orlando Pulse nightclub shooter. Yeah, that's right. And Chris, there are a lot of questions, but we are only a few hours into this investigation, so those questions are few and far between. The answers to those, I should say. Our sister station in the area is now on the scene gathering information. They're telling us that this is the mosque Omar Mateen used to attend. Again, he is that Pulse nightclub shooter. They also tell us this mosque has faced threats in the past. Right now, you're looking at brand new pictures from the St. Lucie County Fire District. Fire officials say they got a call around 12:30 this morning that the Islamic Center of Fort Pierce was on fire. The fire district responded immediately and extinguished the fire. But right now, they're trying to figure out what caused it. Fire officials are saying that they don't know whether the fire was accidental or arson. In fact, one reporter asked them if there were any ties because yesterday was 9/11, and uh, the fire officials and police officers on the scene say it is just too early at this point to tell. Miriam. All right, Kelly, thank you. Well, brand new this morning, a South Korean official says North Korea is capable of conducting another nuclear test anytime at one of its unused tunnels.